Hey everybody, this is Ardoom, and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Darkest Dungeon, The Crimson Court, where we are still reeling from the losses we have taken at the hands of the Viscount. He's a very, very naughty boy, and we don't like him at all. So, uh, while we're waiting for some of our key players to start de-stressing and working down their various forms of damage, we will instead look to try and find meaningful opportunities to level up some lobbies and get particularly our grave robber and our bounty hunter up to a level six if we get the chance. And with that said, we're going to pick a mission in the wheel. Just a short veteran. No one's currently rocking the curse. We do have a Vestal who's rocking an additional uh, camouflage cloak as well as Junior's head. A Jester with a Martyr Seal and Ancestor's Lantern. Uh, D.H. Dragon, who's rocking a Lucky Talisman, as well as an Ancestor's Coat, and again, he'll be getting a lot of stress accruing, and finally, Insanity Send 89, who's rocking a Martyr's Seal and a Sun Ring, have kitted him up for the right abilities, and I think we should be just fine to carry on. Let's provision up. Again, no one is currently cursed. We don't need to worry about the blood too much. We'll bring along a couple of shovels in case we need them, some medicinal herbs, two Holy Waters, two keys and then a stack of torches stack of food and that should do us dandy but just in case we need any more help we'll also bring along two bandages let's embark and see what we have in store not expecting this episode to run too long but as i always do i will thank you guys so much for stopping by i have a lot of fun making these videos it's darkest dungeon is such a cruel game i get really cocky and confident when things go well for a while and then i get smacked down i'm gonna learn to be humble again and play the game of the numbers but again Thank you for watching. I hope you're having fun watching these as much, at least, as I have when I make them. And let's see what we have in store in the dungeon. These paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Okie dokie. So, pathing's pretty straightforward. It's just going to be a straight run all the way around. Hope we have enough torches to last us out and that Vestal's abilities will come in very, very handy. Let's make sure we keep our infantry open as well, just to make sure that we interrupt anything that we can. Great, that's some free scouting, and I'm not going to object to that at all. Coral Battle, Trap, Curio, and a lot of empty rooms. Wow, how far is this scout going to go? Well, quite a while, but not forever. In okay, case so we've got ourselves a, a nice little sack, and its contents are mine. Well, 250 gold measure. to keep our torch the bright. The brave and, the foolhardy alike. and we know we have one Coral Battle coming up, and we'll take the moment to make sure we stay in Radiant, to make sure that all of our Sun Rings and whatnot are uh, working to their fullest abilities. All right, let's carry on. You know, I just had a bit of an epiphany. The reason why I find courtyard base missions so much more difficult than I do any other zone is because I can't use my sun ring and my sun cloak and my camouflage cloak, which are so, they're so core to my playstyle because obviously when you're in the courtyard, there is no light. And so light-based trinkets don't work. Any case, Here's our battle. We are in Radiant, and it is a bunch of bloodsuckers. Fortunately, we have surprise on them, probably courtesy of the Ancestor's Lantern. And we have our opening move with little Mr. Jester. Let's get a chain bleed going to start things off. Could try and focus down on one person individually, but I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. Three and six damage, not too shabby, and bleeds all round for the bunch. Pick the face is a pretty good call, given its crit chance. Again, 13.5% chance to crit, almost guaranteed chance to hit. This should be a kill on that sycophant. Boom shakalaka, yes it is. And let's keep keeping on with the best of all available options. Chances on these guys is non-existent, so what we'll probably try and do is focus down on one guy. Beautiful critical hit there, and that's all of our stress gone on the bounty hunter. Uh, next up. Not really worth trying to get a stun in, even though it will illuminate us slightly. Let's just get some damage on the first rank. Five damage taken, and that's acceptable. Uh, again, these guys are going to start attacking me instantly. Pre-digestion goes down to three, and a Blight does take as well as a debuff. Gather Blood goes down on the Grave Rubber, and no curse, fortunately. This time around, I'll follow things up with a pick to the face once again. Six damage taken, and we'll be able to take out this person, certainly in this round. Probably focus a slice off on the Supplicant right here. Again, six damage and a bleed as well. And I probably kill off this chappy right here. Yes, I can. Nicely, nicely done. In the meantime, we've taken some damage, so Judgment is a meaningful follow-up. Four damage left, four bleed in place. He's dead. Done. Done, 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 done. done. Bit of torch, some emeralds. Again, money isn't really a huge worry for me. It is all about the heirlooms from here on out. But, you know, every little bit helps. 
in some way, especially when we're going to be leveling up some guys pretty quickly. Our chance this arm on the gesture is pretty good. We'll take it, and it pays off. No one has any stress whatsoever. Let's sustain Radiant and watch this upcoming curio. We can unwrap him, and we will. Done. All right, a bit more gold. No need for that, really. Again, there's no need for money beyond it being a nice testament to my greed. <laughs> really, it's just a testament to my greed. Um, let's rob a grave with the grave robber. That that kind of makes sense. Nice, and those are some pretty handy crests, to be honest. Yeah, I did recently buy the... Oh my god, so that's what the cartographer's camp does. Monster surprise chant is, is insane. Scouting is insane. And dodge and loot are enhanced for obvious reasons, rather than being disenhanced or debuffed from... Oh, I love the cartographer's camp. Hopefully this is going to make all the difference in the world to me. Obviously it's not going to help me an iota with killing the Viscount, but that's just my bitter, bitter sensibilities coming through. Let's get into Radiant just as we enter this dungeon, and Torchlight is a huge problem for us at the moment. Two Ectoplasms, two Enchantresses for us to worry about. That's just fine. Stressful Incantation goes down, but it's dodged because we are too damn pretty to take a hit. Eldritch Pool is also dodged, fortunately, and everything is looking fine. Now, we might well have a chance for an insta-kill on one of these two, and we really do. It would make sense for us to take out those Ectoplasms. Stress I'm less worried about. Let's just make sure that... Nice, we're keeping in control of combat. Pick to the face, if we can take out both ectoplasms, that would be lovely, but it is not to be, unfortunately. Fortunately, though, we can have our cake and eat it too. Beautiful crit on the Enchantress as well, and she's taken some healthy, healthy damage. Judgment goes down, seven damage taken, and that Enchantress should be dead. Only one action in their turn. When it comes up, if it comes up, and when it comes up at all. Alright, no need to worry there, we may as well just drop a party buff and maximize our chances for some sweet, sweet damage. Done, Enchantress moves forward into position, which is fine by me. Pick to the face, 13 damage, not too shabby, only 6 HP left, and she'll drop one stressful incantation. How much stress is that? 15, and our torch is reduced, which could cause me some problems. No chance for a knockback stun, may as well just go finish him and finish her. As the fiend falls. May as well go finish him and finish her. Wow, I do. That's, uh, that's a gift you have there with speaking. Hidden treasures, and what do we have? Uh, gold and emeralds, and we're buffing that stack up nicely. Carrying things on, we only have three torch left, which is getting slightly concerning, to be honest. Uh, don't have any anti-venom. Uh, who has the highest blight resist? Let's do a quick check. Uh, 80 and 30, that's the best combination there. Let's give it a try. Old tree. Couldn't resist stashing treasure and none too shabby there at all. And some free blood as well. Not that we need it for this particular party, but bringing some home would not be a bad thing to do. Hunger check comes through and there's no worries there. Let's just press on through into the dungeon. Uh, know what we have in store for ourselves. Uh, again, no obstacles that I've sighted yet, so I will use another shovel. Shallow grave. Pays off sometimes. Nicely done. We'll ditch the... Uh, citrines for the yeah for the crests crests are actually surprisingly because normally I'm like yeah I don't need crests crests are fine I'm oversupplied in crests no with um the districts I am always needing crests we are in radiant we have surprise oh my god these Nashers are gonna have a hard time today um stress not really no let's just do a slice off on someone relevant. Nice um, chain attack, I think. Oh, that's a sweet hit. That is a sweet, sweet hit. Alright, let's finish off one. Very, very nicely done. And with the Leper's turn, let's actually get a good old-fashioned proper stun going. It's a dodge, but we get the Torchlight regardless. Rapid Rush goes down the Jester, and it's a dodge as well. Their turn was entirely wasted. And with a pick to the face, you have not long left on this mortal coil. Done, 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 ski. Combat wrapped. That's exactly what we want to have happen. Again, not worried about the gold at all. I'm not going to ditch any. Oh, it's, it's a full stack of gold. May as well ditch one bandage. Sure. Twist my arm. Make me take the gold. Why don't you? Uh, and another scouting comes through. That's fantastic. All right, let's press on with battle. But we are in Radiant, so that's fine. Ah, oh, not quite in Radiant, sadly. Might need to get something in quickly to 
boost up our torch. What's your chance to stun? It's not horrible. It's not amazing either. Um, finish him is not going to get me a kill by any measure, but I think the Jester can... Oh, beautiful crit. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. All right, let's check our damages here. About the same either way. This one gives me a buff to myself, and I will take that maximum damage as it comes through. Get a chain bleed going and take out that Fusilier. Done, done, and done. Just the Bloodletter to worry about. Let's try for a stun here. Boost our Torch into Radiant as well. Nice, no stun taking, but that's just fine. Rain of Whips will drop. Everybody dodges because we're just fancy people. We're just fancy. You already know. Alright, that's adding up to 7 bleed per turn. Now I could try and stun him, but it's not going to be worth it. Let's just maybe drop a mark on him for the synergies. The synergies gives us with everyone else. Nice. Unfortunately, we can't hit. Oh, we can hit him in this position because he's a nice critical hit. 26 there, and he is dead in his next action. No matter what happens, let's just exploit him to boost our torchlight up, and he's gone. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty, what can be thrown away? Uh, don't know for sure I'm not going to need that shovel, but I will drop this one regardless, and yeah, that's that's fine by me. To press on, we've more than made up for our uh, operating costs. There we go, stash treasure. Oh, 12 crests, that's beautiful. That is just fine by me. This should be an empty, and this is the dungeon functionally completed. Yep, and we even get a free scout through. All right, let's let's check that one last curio there. This has gone immensely well. Yep, empty crate. That's completely fine. Wow, that was a really, really short one. Bring soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive on Harry. Just thinking. Oh no, no, there's all the there's all the gold that I picked up. So a total of about 19k in gold, all in all. 30 crests, nine deeds, and two portraits, all adding up to the goodness we have back home. Insanity Send 89 is now a level five. Unfortunately, he has a touch of the syphilis. I'll try not to giggle about that too much. Sorry, dude. DH Dragon is evasive, which is a fantastic quirk for a grave robber. Um, Ponchodon has picked up the Black Plague, which again is regrettable, but immensely curable. And Tanel has a nasty touch of the Hagiomania, which is just fine. Looking pretty good, everyone is quickly leveling up to... I see something long absent in the sunken faces of passers-by. A glimmer of hope. Nico's bloodletting was a bit too effective. Okay. Wonder how long that lasts. Well, your stress is all gone at least. Let's do a bit of a diligent check. We've got a short episode on our hands, so we can we have the time for it. Dark Temptation is gone. Paranomania is gone. Thirsting, thirsting, controlled. Drunk. Drunk, drunk. Alright, they've had a bit of a blood party, which is a creepy thing to say. In the meantime, we have some guys that have leveled up, so we will definitely want to make sure that we're taking full advantage of their newfound ability to have all of the abilities. Again, I'm not even worried about gold anymore. It's just too easy. Stun Shuffle might be a handy complement for this chappy as well, but we'll leave that off for the moment. DH Dragon is still only a three. Ponchodon is fine, and Tinel is fine. All right, let's go back to the armory and give Sanity Send his upgrades. Done, done, and Dunsky. That is fine by me. All right, and let's let's consider our next steps. Let's consider our next steps. Nico. Okay, permanent. All right, it's weird. Oh, it's a town event. Okay, that's fine. Um, Nico's ready for a fight again. Um, I've got three low-level characters that are diseased. <laughs> <laughs> Horribly diseased. So I will take care of those problems in the medical world, ward first of all. Done and done. Ooh, Black Plague. It's nasty. And Spasm the Entrails. Do not mind if I do. Alright, that's all the diseases looked after. 
uh, we're probably not going to be taking out any fours at this stage given the circumstances so we'll just consider which threes and fours we are willing to uh, dipsomania can cause some unwanted interrupts so we'll take care of that resolution I'm fine with uh, what else we got uh, you're clean all right DH dragon god fearing yeah we can we can take care of that all right DH dragon you are no longer fearing the god um, and uh, I guess it's time for us to plan our next steps in terms of the crimson courtyard before we do though we'll do a quick check in the stagecoach and there's no one there of a high enough level to justify things for us. We can do a quick check through our districts as well. Yeah, the Red Hook we're going to be ignoring for a while. Granary is attractive, but I want to get the upgrade to the Sanitarium first because some food being free and extra healing isn't really compelling for me. I don't really use food for healing that much. House of Yellow Hand is a long way away. Ultra of Light is a long way away. About 25% of the way there. And the name, though could be handy and it's relatively approachable we're about halfway towards it we'll have to make a call when we get closer to about 110 deeds um and then finally we are working towards outsiders bonfire relatively well given the the amount of crests we've been picking up in the last few missions in the meantime I don't need to worry about any building upgrades we're kind of fine uh, especially with the money situation being you know floating around 50k for the last few rounds we just don't need to worry about it that much let's do a quick check to see if there are any must do well, got a boss to kill. I have a boss to kill. Berserker's Mask, Siren's Trophy, lots of crests, and that could be quite compelling. Again, I do want to get these guys taken care of, but we've got invitations. The Viscounts are just there. I just need to figure out the right kind of party to take him down. And obviously, like, a Flagellant, a great, a great option. Yeah, like, Flagellant is a great option. Um wasting yeah you are wasting okay that explains that um can't combine a flagellant with an abomination but an abomination would be pretty handy that said though i think that there's going to be a pretty good synergy for I mean, what we need is heavy hitters chain bleeders and a healer so i'm thinking what i might do is bring along a good position three A good position three occultist for the heals. We will also get heals from a flagellant. And then probably Who's got the best stats? That's the question. Better dodge, better crit. Better speed. Yeah, it's probably gonna be Sydney that we take along with the Viscount. And then in the front. I want to bring a leper because again they just do great damage they've got great HP and I mean damage potential is certainly up there compared to um, a crusader and um, you know while the hellion can attack any position um, we have to kill those corpses so it might well be that we need to equip a a leper now this isn't a named party by any measure no it's not um, now, the damage debuff that we can... <sighs> yeah, I think either a Sacrificial Stab, just to have an attack on every position, or a Weakening Curse, because reducing the damage that he does as a persistent debuff would be amazing. I'll need to check out the stats for what the Viscount has as a debuff resist, because if he has like an epic debuff resist, then there's no point even trying might be worth thinking about all right so here's the plan not gonna bother with endure I'll probably level up something else like uh, rain of sorrows as a chain bleed again because it does do a debuff a bleed resist debuff which is quite handy in fact that's what I'm gonna do I think I've got my viscount strat all made up I will give these guys the right trinkets for loadout and take care of a few skill upgrades as well if I can. Reign of Sorrows, up you go. And I think in the next episode, fingers crossed, we won't be taking any casualties and we will be taking down the Viscount. Alright, until then, um, I'm Ardu. Thank you guys for tuning in to this slightly briefer episode of Darkest Dungeon. If you're new to the channel, um, hit that subscribe button for me. 
Um, also check out the playlist, and if you're a returning uh, viewer, as always, thanks so much for stopping by. Um, hit that like button for me, drop me a comment. Still a few names left to claim as well, so uh, feel free to let me know what class you want to be. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.